Hello Internet world, welcome to my unboxing and review of the 2022 release version of the Amazon Fire HD8 tablet. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I just want to share with you my opinion of this device after using it for a couple of weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the 2022 version of the Fire HD8 tablet from Amazon. It's available in a variety of capacities and colors. This one happens to be the rose pink color. It's also available in a denim blue and also black as well. Nice, bright, vibrant packaging here. Amazon branding down the bottom. It says Fire HD8 on both sides. And then if we turn this over, it lists off some of the main use case scenarios and specifications, including the fact this has got an eight inch HD display, 1280 by 800 resolution, front and rear cameras on here as well, hands-free with Alexa support, also a hexa-core processor. Now that hexa-core processor gives a much more responsive experience over last year's device and up to 30% improvement in speed. There's also a micro SD card slot, and that expands the storage capacity by up to one terabytes. There's 64 gigabytes built in storage. Also supports Dolby Atmos sound, and it's got two gigabytes of RAM. Now I mentioned about the storage capacity, so you can expand it up to one terabyte. This one here is the 64 gigabyte version of the tablet. It's also available in a lower capacity, 32 gigabytes. So let's get this unboxed. When you get this sort of brand new, it's gonna have a little seal that you're gonna open at the top. And then once that's open, you can pull this out to reveal the box contents. Inside the box, we of course get the tablet itself. And then we also get this section at the bottom of the box, which we can open. And this reveals some paperwork and also a charging plug and a cable. Now, depending upon which country you're in, you will get a country specific USB charging plug. This is a three pin UK one. But as I said, if you're in another country, your plug may well look different to this. We also get a charging cable. This is full size USB and then USB-C. The full size USB goes into the charging plug and this end here goes into your Fire HG8 tablet. And then we get some important information and also a quick start guide to get us up and running with the Fire HG8 tablet. This is wrapped in this nice paper. If we turn this over, we can take this out of the paper wrap to reveal the tablet in its rose color. Very, very nice color this. It's a plastic back, but very, very high grade material. You can see on the back here, we have got the rear facing camera and across the top here, we've got all of the various buttons. We've got the power on off, we've got the volume up and down, a little pinhole mic, the USB-C charging socket, and a three and a half mil audio jack. On this side here, we've got the slot for the memory card if you want to increase that storage capacity. This side's completely clear. And then round on this side here, we've got a couple of speakers, really nicely positioned. And then if we turn this over, you get to see the display, this 1280 by 800 resolution display, which is a very, very good quality display. Really nice, punchy colors, very, very uh, clear and easy to read. Now, with a device like this, you can, of course, do lots of different things with it. Let's take a closer look. So this is the main home screen. This is where you're gonna gain access to all of your content. So you've got here a little section where we continue where we were last uh, sort of interacting with the device. We can also discover new things. And if we scroll, we've got the apps that are installed on our tablet. Now these ones here were all pre-installed. The Instagram and YouTube app, I installed that to test the device and it works very well. In fact, if I just go into the YouTube app, you can see here, these are some of my other videos, for example. And when you're watching these, the speakers are absolutely fantastic. There's also a couple of other sections on this home screen. So we've got a For You tab, and this is where it's gonna go into recent apps, continue, or we can choose a selection of uh, publications to read, top subscription apps that they're recommending, 
top picks for your Kindle, uh, top uh, reading with Prime, top free apps. So these are all suggestions that you can install onto your Fire HD8 tablet. If we go into the library screen, this is where we're gonna gain access to our installed apps and content. So we've got some games, some audio books, and we can perhaps go into one of the magazines that I've got on here, and we can flick through and actually read the magazine. It's very, very cool. And it remembers where you last left off as well. And of course, if you prefer to read in portrait mode, you can flip the device around and read in portrait mode as well. And then when you're finished reading, you can tap, go back to your home screen and do something else. Maybe watch a video or play a game. This is a great tablet device. It works extremely well. It's very responsive. And I think at the price point that this is sold at, it is an absolute bargain. It offers up entertainment, access to your emails, access to your social media. You've got reading on here as well. We can access Amazon Prime and watch some movies or TV series, for example. It's a really great package at a really competitive price point. I love the fact that we've got upgraded storage in this, upgraded performance, and I can highly recommend that you check this out. So that's it, that's my review of the Fire HG8 2022 version from Amazon. If you want to pick up one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. Hit like on the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.